This is a heavy duty starter motor that I modified and mounted onto my drift trike. And this is a similar model starter that is unmodified. Let me show you how I got from this to this. I've received quite a few comments on my alternator motor videos of people asking if starter motors can be used for EV applications, and to be honest, I've always wondered the same thing. You see, starter motors have a very short duty cycle and are typically meant to be ran for periods of up to 30 seconds at a time. But before I get any further, let me briefly explain how starter motors work. A starter motor is a powerful electric motor with a small gear called a pinion attached to the end. When you turn the ignition switch on, the solenoid gets energized and the pinion gets pushed forward so that it engages with the flywheel. The starter then spins the engine over so that the piston can draw on a fuel and air mixture, which is then ignited to start the engine. I picked up a couple large starter motors from a construction company which were used on Caterpillar machines. I unfortunately couldn't find much information on these two starters, but was told that they're equivalent to 42MT starter motors. The black one is a 12 volt starter and the slightly larger yellow one is a 24 volt starter. For this video, I'm going to be using the 12 volt motor. To start things off, I had to remove my original motor and controller from the drift trike. The plan was to install the starter motor without modifying the existing motor mount. This is because at the time I had no idea if this would actually work, and if this experiment was a failure, I could just put everything back together the way that it was. I removed the Bendix drive from the starter and also removed the solenoid. I'll no longer need the solenoid because I'll be using a speed controller with the proper throttle. Also, the reason I'm filming this part with the yellow motor is because I lost the footage from when I originally had done this, and I want to show you guys what I did. Okay, now back to the black motor. The front housing was much larger than I needed it to be, so I cut off a bunch of material and then machined the face down flat on my lathe. Okay, so I'm currently in the middle of rebuilding my drift trike battery pack. What happened was two of the cells actually got destroyed. And I think this happened during my drift trike pyrotechnics video. I think some of the sparks may have hit one of these cells and then the one leaky cell damaged the cell beside it. So what I'm doing is I'm converting this battery into a 36 volt pack, which means I need a new BMS unit. And thankfully banggood.com hooked me up and sent me this new DALI 10S BMS. So yeah, I'm not using a 36 volt battery for any specific reason. I just planned on using the battery that I already had, which was supposed to be 52 volts, but now it looks like I'm going with 36 volts because I wasn't able to find any replacement cells. Thanks again to Banggood for sending me the BMS. You can find the purchase link for these BMS units in the description below. Believe it or not, this 12 volt starter can drop to 1650 amps while cranking over an engine. Now, I'm not going to be pulling near that much current. My battery can only safely output up to 120 amps continuous. I'm using a brushed DC series Kelly controller for this project, which I can program to limit the current drawn from the battery. Okay, there is one more thing that I need to do, and that is to add a sprocket. I could not find a spline tub to fit the motor shaft, so I decided to disassemble the Bendix and weld a sprocket directly to it. I'm using about a 3 to 1 gear ratio, and I used a shaft collar to hold the sprocket into place. And that's it for the build. Now let's go see how this works. Alright, here we go. The initial test drive with the starter motor drift trike.
<laughs> it works. Okay, so not gonna lie, I was pretty surprised with how well the starter motor worked. I thought it would have overheated after just a few minutes of continuous use, but it didn't even get hot to the touch. I was drifting around for about 20 minutes with just a few short breaks in between, and I didn't have any problems. The copper terminals were the only part of the motor that felt fairly warm near the end. So would I recommend using a starter motor like this for EV applications? I think it all depends on the circumstances. If you're going to be using it for about 20 minutes at a time and you like the DIY aspect of it, then I think these motors work well and it's a fun project. But if you're going to be running it continuously non-stop for hours on end, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing it. These motors are completely sealed and allow for absolutely no cooling. This motor casing is about 3 8 inch thick steel and the motor weighs about 50 pounds. I think it'd be interesting to try adding some ventilation holes to the motor casing and see how long it would really last under continuous operation. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.